Yeah, guys, just got this in the mail. Uh, set of two four-way pressure clamps. So the ones that you can get right on Amazon. I'll post a link in the description of this. And I already sliced it open, but I figured, you know, and I marked out all my personal information. And, you know, one of you loonies coming to my house. Anyway, here's, uh, wow, comes with a couple screws. Put those on the side. Peach tree woodworking supply. Must be like a, yeah, missing parts. That's nice. Never 888 number to call if you're, you know, anything's wrong with this, I guess. Ah, instructions. Look at that. Boy, pressure clamping system. I plan on using metal instead of the wood like they got here. And so, lovely piece of cardboard. Great for kindling. Alright. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Good heavy weight to this thing. This feels like cast iron handle here. A little pin to lock it to this threaded rod here. Hmm. A spring, I guess this is constantly keeping it uh, closed. I guess it's trying yeah. huh. Interesting. So when you crank this way, counterclockwise, it comes out and this opens. And this is where these will lock into those bars, cross bars, and depending on where you want them. Hmm. Plastic pieces. Like four of this shorter length. For I guess this is the, the the end that you don't really adjust all that much. Put those to the side here. that it stores flatter that way it's nice okay it's good to know if I'm never have these apart and need to put them away or something uh, yeah, look at that. it's like a Chinese puzzle here look at that huh. okay so I guess they basically this is one set like this hmm okay Concerns me, this doesn't go much, doesn't close more than that, but I guess, uh, I don't know why, I guess I'll look at the instructions and see, because you would hope that this could close more than that, but I guess with this, yeah, well, it's going to be a different length, um, yeah, well, we like this and this, you should think, and then plus your metal in between, yeah, that's going to be very thin. So yeah, okay, that makes sense. Uh, I'm not so concerned that this is so far open anymore. I alleviated my own concerns myself. Okay, more of these plastic things. Oh, they're all the, looks, oh, uh, oh, these are the, okay. Yeah, these get attached. I'm not even looking at instructions, but I can see these get attached in here. These are like plastic uh, cushions. So they don't, you don't mar up your work so much. Okay. Okay, I thought these would be different lengths. They're all the same length. That makes sense, I guess. 
Okay. Oh, a whole bunch of these. Things. I guess you need eight of them. I'm trying to think. One, two, three, four, five, six, at least eight of them. And here's the other packing man. Metal seems nice. It's a pretty heavy, heavy gauge steel, which is good. This looks pretty solid. So this is good. Here's a good close look at this before you buy one off of Amazon. I believe these were pretty cheap. They're like fifty dollars for the set, and then you just have to add your own cross pieces, either wood or metal. Okay, let me stop this, and I'll try uh, assembling some of this off camera. Okay, I'm back. I put this. I put one of these together. I have two sets. I put one together, and I figured I'd show you because the next one's just going to be exactly the same. Um, I'm using this, uh, some people call it super strut, unistrut. It's actually found in electrical. I guess they use it for bracing and whatnot for some sort of electrical systems. But here, let me take this out of here. If you can show you this, the, the crank end. It just goes in there like this and then you just, you know, depending on the size of your panels, you pick which uh, slot to put these bars in like that and then uh, yeah you would oops I got out of here on me it's hard to do this while looking at the cell phone filming this but yeah see let's go in there like that and then, you know, and then you would crank on this handle I should have had something set up so I could show you exactly how these work but if if you're a woodworker, you probably already know how these work, or have an idea at least. Um, a lot of people I saw were using like nuts and bolts to put these on, but they came up with a kind of a practical solution. I put chunks of wood in this because if I were to bolt it, I would have to bolt it either on you know one of these sides, like either through here, I'd have to bolt it, and then I'd have just these two edges clamping onto my work surface which I, I don't know I just didn't like the idea of that so I figured I'd cut some wood made just made out of two by fours I'd cut them so they fit in here and then I pre-drilled so it you know so it wouldn't split and I screwed the wood what's great about this is I can always loosen these and I could slide these up and down the channel if I need to which I don't think I would need to, but you know, you never know. And then uh, on the other end here, I did something else that the manufacturer doesn't tell you to do. But um, where's the instructions? In the instructions here, they have the two on the end uh, almost like butted up against each other here. They're very close against they're two inches from the end which I did and then they have these things almost right up next to each other but they're much thicker on the ends than they show in that little diagram as you can see here so what I did I left a gap between them so now basically I have another spot to put the bar in between the pieces so I kind of extended it oh there's my wood my wood split a little bit in there but that's okay the rest of this is fine but uh, yeah, and it's it's on here. I mean, these things are on here. Wow. I mean, they are they aren't going anywhere. Uh, the real test will be when I clamp something up and put it under pressure. But I think for now, this looks pretty good. So uh, yeah, that was uh, my solution was putting chunks of wood in there 
into the channel itself and so now I have this nice flat surface that'll go against the you know against the, the wood and uh, I still need to put tape on here they tell you to put like some kind of box tape or any kind of I guess plastic coating so that your glue you know because sometimes the glue in reacts with the metal and it makes your wood turn black and that's, what, that's a bad thing so I'll do that I'll put some plastic on these before I actually put them to use so here it is all set up Now, like I said before here, I put the, there's the extra little gap that I made, so I have one extra adjustment there, you know. Okay, that's my silly little video on this uh, four-way panel clamp, available on Amazon, really cheap. Take care.